so excited. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I'm just kidding. shocking. Scandalous. <laughs> Good evening, Europe. I'm Angus calling, and I'm here with Misha in the Czech Republic and Patrick in Austria. And we are just as shocked as Barbara Schoenenburger was about 30 minutes ago in Germany when the scandal went down at Unser Song for Osterreich. So, guys, what did we think about the scandal with Anne Sophia and Andreas? Well, I was really shocked. I never expected something like this, and not in a national selection. No, I, it, this never happened. And it was it was just a big surprise for everybody here as well in Austria because everybody was tweeting about it on, on Facebook, and oh my God, what happened right now? And I feel so sad for Anne Sophie because Andreas made her in, su in such a bad situation. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's something really weird. Yes, that was very shocking, and so you might feel very uncomfortable. And uh, the audience was booming. Uh, I kind of question uh, what they were booing at, at Andreas or at Anne Sophie. Uh, well, uh, but anyway, as a result, uh, I think it's better. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, it's an awful position for Anne Sophie, but all credit to her, like, she took it on the chin and, oh, like, I think so much respect for her for how, like, she took it with such humility when she lost originally. And I just think, Andreas is such a dick. Like, what a dick move to play. Like, I think that's awful to her, because now she's going to be constantly the girl who didn't actually win, the fate winner. And I just think that's terrible. But, yeah, Patrick, what do you think about the song? Better than Andreas is? Actually, when I saw both live, I were... Actually, I wasn't a fan of the final result. I wanted Fahrenheit. But um, except, expect of God, um, Smoke is a great song. Um, both songs weren't the best songs and not strong enough for Eurovision. But from those two, it was really on Sophie, slightly better. But uh, yeah, Andreas was good as well. He has the best, he had the better voice and she had a better song. That's it. Yeah, definitely on Sophie was a better choice because uh, she can really work with public, she's uh, very entertaining, she's active on stage, uh, her song is uh, more catchy, I, I like it much more, uh, and Andrea's song, I don't know, uh, I don't like it so much because it has uh, some kind of a little bit boring tune. His performance was uh, nothing special, he wasn't doing so much effort. And I mean, they weren't the only songs in this final, there were a lot of other songs, so we should discuss them. Um, I mean, who were your other favourites in this national final? Do you think that Lang and Alexa should have been the other two who made it to the top four? Um, of the top four, I think Alexa uh, would have been the best chance with it, if it comes to vocals, if it comes to passion, if it comes to emotions. Like, my mother is not... Not really like she she doesn't get emotions in songs, but there she really feels it, and I feel it too. It was just a strong message in both of the songs with great lyrics, great a great of effort in overall. I think she was the best of the top four. Uh, yes, definitely. Alexa was really good uh, at first when I uh, listened to her songs. Uh, I liked uh, Gold for von Morgan but more, uh, but uh, and uh, I saw the. Uh, recording of uh, Gluck, um, and uh, she was big there, but then I saw her on stage of the song first hike, uh, and uh, the performance of Gluck was incredible, and she sang it very well, uh, like how she, she was uh, delivering it, so I think Gluck was really good. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, Lang were the best. Like, I really enjoyed uh, the whole, like, dress reveal in the second song. I thought that was really classy, but kind of alternative. But, I mean, I think that was kind of a bit too Art Nouveau for Germany, maybe. I mean, they had Marie Marie last year, Blitz Kids the year before. They were kind of, like, the edgy styling and that cool, like, icy cool electro pop. And Germany was just like, no, we don't like that song. You're not going to the national final. You're not going to win. Um, but yeah, just, I just find it, Fahrenheit, like you say, oh my god, those jellyfish, like, oh, the Medusas, they killed me, I love them, those shiny, like, like, they were everything, my god, why didn't Germany vote for the jellyfish, I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't know why they didn't, um, and speaking of 2014, we should really say, do we think this was stronger than last year's Unser Song for contest? Um, if you come back to Fahrenheit, she had the best vocals. She was amazing. The staging was not the best. It was a bit messy, though, because it's a little stage and it was too much there. But it was my favorite. I should have won. And yeah, I think 
and the, this winner is actually on the same level as last year's Eliza. I th think they're on the same level. I think Eliza was a bit more catchier and a bit more in to get in, in your head. But Black Smoke has something really special, so on the same level. Uh, yeah, I really loved Fahrenheit. It was incredible, like uh, all the songs of the emotions. Uh, I, even, uh, I was shivering the whole song, well, partly because of the ice cream, but still, <laughs> it was a double effect. Uh, yeah, the song was amazing. I wonder why didn't it go through to the second round, at least. And com in comparison to the last year, uh, I think Ansofi can do better than Eliza. Uh, well, both songs are very catchy, and I love to Eliza and I love Anne Sophie, but I think Anne Sophie has a better chance. Yeah, I mean, I think Black Smoke is a much stronger song than Is It Right? It's not as repetitive. There is actually some change in the song, which is nice because Eliza's song was literally the same hook for like three minutes, and after a while, you two just get bored shitless of accordion. Like, nobody needs that for three minutes. Um, and also, she has much better hair than the three of Eliza put together, so that's like <laughs> an absolute bonus for her. Um, and then, I guess, kind of drawing to a close on this, how do you think Hansfi is going to do? I mean, there is a big chance of a sympathy vote because of this whole drama of Andreas. Um, but also, she has an upbeat song, and this is a year of ballads. So, do we think she and Black Smoke can bring Germany back to the top ten? I wouldn't rate Black Smoke as a ballad, actually. It's something else. It's, 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 it's more catchier than a ballad, in my opinion. I don't think she will reach the top 15. She will like be 16th, 17th place. Not, not a good result, again, for, for Germany. She will be slightly in the middle or nearly the end. I don't think they will do well with her. I mean, she could do. She could get some, po some po more points because of that thing happened. But in Eurovision, nobody knows about that. So I'm not sure. I'm not well, uh, I, I think that it can uh, do well. I think it can score in top 15, definitely. Well, maybe even top 10. Well, not so sure about it, but top 15, definitely. Uh, it's really catch us on and it's much better because uh, she, she can do very, very well, uh, good staging, like, as, as we saw today. Uh, she was so uh, walking around, uh, entertaining, uh, with, uh, playing with the audience, and uh, that is what Eliza miss was missing. I just think this has like progression. This has drama. She's got moves. She's got the backing singer, like the whole like sixties Motowny vibe, and like I love this. Like not a winner, but definite top ten material. I think. Like, the strongest song Germany's probably sent since 2012, even, I'd say. Like, I'd rate this above Cascada and Eliza in terms of, like, the German schooling of things. Um, and, yeah, I just think she's going to kill it. And this sympathy vote, like, if her management team have got their eye on the ball, they'll just be running with it. So they'll just be like, oh, poor Anne Sophie, she's such a victim. Vote for her, vote for her, vote for her. That'll make up for her not properly winning an answer song for Oosterreich. So I'm just like, the world is her oyster. She can take this by storm if she wants to. She's just got to be canny and go for it. And with that, I think that's all we've got time for. So it's Alfie Desain from me. And we will see you all soon. Make sure to check out all the latest Eurovision news about Anthony's drama on weeweeblogs.com and all our latest videos on weewee.tv. And you can find us on social media at weeweeblogs. Bye, Europe! Bye.